Whatever they want, as long as it fits in the box, you can yep. do it. This one was specifically designed for the movie industry and movie stars, so it's a little bit different, especially when you see the interior. I rarely see these online. Mm -hmm. What can somebody expect to get out of this? Um, if you take care of them, uh, they'll last a lifetime. Oh, we need to get that at home. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RVM here with Greg from Spacecraft. We're at the 2022 Tampa RV Show. We saw this unit behind us and I told MJ we need to do a tour of this because this is an amazing unit. But Greg knows everything about this. We'll talk about the exterior, the interior, what makes it such a special unit. So this is a 53 foot semi. We do uh, semis, fifth wheels, and travel trailers. This one was specifically designed for the movie industry and movie stars. So it's a little bit different, especially when you see the interior. Some things that set us apart from the rest of the industry. We have a molded fiberglass ceiling and roof. Both of those have a lifetime warranty. We do custom paint jobs. On our semi units, we have the possum belly, which provides for a pretty significant storage upgrade. Our fifth wheels have a little bit more than the rest of the industry, but our semis typically have 60% more than even our fifth wheels. So you get a good feel for some of the uh, storage down here. This one is not full pass-through uh, because on the other side we have a mini split system. Uh, we're one of the few RV companies in the uh, industry right now that are doing mini splits. Um, we have all sorts of different configurations for holding tanks. We're full custom so we can pretty much do anything. We put 600 gallons on a semi we sent over to Saudi Arabia a couple of years ago. These are the black and the gray tanks um, specifically designed for when they're on a movie set. The honey wagon can come and pump yeah. them out and um, they can stay on set without having to do How anything. large are these tanks? I think these are both 100 gallons. Okay, so I, just a little bit what we see normally, these are normally plastic, right? This yes. is not plastic. I could see the, the welding. Mm -hmm. So this is built to last a long time. And it has to withstand basically the vacuum when they come yep. to empty them um, on set. Typically, we have 55 gallon uh, tanks that are plastic and they're up in the rails. So if you look under here, uh, you've got our main I-beams that come back. They typically sit up inside here, so you still have full path through storage. So this is another uh, fun thing with our units. Um, we have stairs that just go inside. I won't show you because they have the uh, uh, thing up there, but basically you just push them in um, and they store inside and then you pull them out and they just come down. They're self-leveling. So once you set them down the first time you step on them, they auto level. Since this is a semi unit, it's got commercial uh, gear on it. So 22.5 tires, air ride, air brake. So a really smooth ride. The guy that brought it down here, uh, we actually had a pledge bottle that we had just set inside the uh, door when it uh, left the factory in Kansas City. So 1200 miles later, it was still sitting right there. <laughs> That's and amazing. He was, he was blown away. <laughs> now this is a six slide coach. Correct. We've done up to eight. Wow. Um, and that's all part of the custom build process. Now, now what's the largest one that you've made lengthwise? I think 22 feet, somewhere in that range. Overall length? Yeah. 22 feet or? Of the slide, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. But I'm talking about overall oh, length. 57 is as big as we make the largest. Them. Okay. So our fifth wheels we do from 35 feet up to uh, 50 feet. And then our semis we do from 40 foot up to 57. Okay. Um, residential semis are typically somewhere in the 44 to 48 foot around the typical bus length and RV length. Our commercial customers is what go up to the 57 or the, the 50s. A carnival industry is actually yeah. one of our big uh, customers. I would imagine, yeah. And they have it because it's part of it's their office and part of it's mm -hmm. their home for 11 months of the year. So it's their their home and their business. Our electrical, a lot like a residential house, uh, we do 50 amp standard. And then on our semis, we have a generator that's standard, do a surge protector and an automated transfer switch and a power reel for the uh, cord. Uh, this trailer has aqua hot on it for tankless hot water and also heat in the basement. So that's the exhaust for that. And then this other um, exhaust is for the generator. It's got a uh, 12kW generator on it to give them full 50 amp service if they need it uh, out on a, a set. And then here's the mini split system. It acts just like a uh, home. So you've got the outdoor unit here and it has Freon and everything that goes through. And then on the inside, uh, when we go in, you'll see those. They, they blow into the unit. So this is a 36 ton uh, BTU. It does uh, air conditioning and heat pump. The nice thing with these is the heat pump is good to about negative 10 Fahrenheit. Okay. So yeah, um, that's a good thing. You don't have to worry about uh, an extra furnace. So there's nothing up on the roof as far as ACs. Everything's coming from the, here. Uh, so the cassettes, there's different IDUs. There's cassettes, wall units, low static units. 
and it just depends on what your build strategy is for if you're wanting stuff to go through the roof, if okay. you're not wanting stuff to go through the roof. Uh, this has cassettes on it, so there are uh, basically three foot by three foot squares that go up six inches. Okay. So it's lower than the traditional um, air conditioning system. And then you had asked about weight earlier. Yeah, what is uh, the, everybody's gonna wanna know what the weight is on this. this the gross weight on this is uh, 44,000 pounds. Okay, yeah, so you, you need a big truck. Yep, so it's it's built for a class eight uh, tractor, specifically designed for the, uh, the kingpin and everything associated with that. So regarding like the life expectancy of something like this, I, I rarely see these online. Mm -hmm. What can somebody expect to get out of this? Um, very easily 20 years, but there's some that are out there after 30 years. Uh, a lot of that depends. It's like a home. If you take care of it, right. it's going to last potentially forever. We have an all steel chassis, uh, fiberglass ceiling and roof, which are, uh, have a lifetime warranty on them. So if you take care of them, uh, they'll last a lifetime. And now are you guys manufactured direct? Like the order will go right through you? Correct. Okay. So since we're full custom, um, it's a lot like a, a home. We design everything from the tires to the roof vents. Um, okay. We've got a seven page checklist we go through with all the options and upgrades and uh, work with the customer to de design everything uh, they want. If they need to add three inches to a slide, we can do that depending on, um, you know, a lot of it is we just need to know the measurements for the appliances or the furniture and then we can build the suit. Right. Whatever they need. want, as long as it fits in the box, you yep. can do it. Our tagline is we can do anything within the parameters of regulations, imagination, budget, and physics. Awesome. What's really special is when we go inside. So yeah. let's go inside. Yeah. So again, this was designed for movie sets. Uh, this is kind of the Zen room, place to take a nap if you need to, relax. They're gonna have some more chairs in here, desk chairs, so desk, um, full wardrobes with auto lights on both sides, a full length mirror. Now what is your ceiling here? Because this looks This is molded different. fiberglass. Okay. Um, again, it has that lifetime warranty on it. Here you see one of the indoor units for the cassettes. Um, it ties directly into our ducting, uh, which is one of the things that sets us apart from the rest of the industry. It uh, blows fore and aft into the duct and laterally into the room. Now, obviously, you can set this up however you want because this is like a very large space for a bedroom if you yeah. want. Yep. What people would typically do in this kind of a situation is have a king or a queen this direction. You can also do Murphy beds mm -hmm. and then an opposing wardrobe either in a slide or um, not in a slide. And colors. I mean, everything is customizable. This trailer is all maple, so they wanted to do a stain um, that kind of went with their look. Uh, you can do painted. Uh, which we also use maple for that because it's really hard and it doesn't have the grain look to it. But yeah, that's part of the custom design process is uh, anything and everything that the customer wants. So on this one, uh, this was a first for us as a towable unit. Uh, we have a tile shower in here. Uh, it's the first time we've tried that. Worked out pretty good, so I think you'll probably see that again in the future. With the barn doors on it, we were a little bit apprehensive about those, but uh, they've got 1,200 miles on them now and no issues. I do want to ask you a question. Are these walls painted? Yes. So okay, because it looks very different than great, what we normally great question. see. The fun thing that people usually say is that sheetrock. Yeah. Obviously, it's no. not because that would crumble going down the road. Uh, we use a birch paneling, okay. um, and then you can paint it any color that you would have. Yeah, in the this house. looks amazing. It looks it looks like a home. If you ever want to change colors, you can just repaint. Yeah. yeah. So That's it awesome. makes it uh, kind of future proofs it a little bit. So this is the the stars bathroom. Uh, there's a number of fun things in it. Uh, floating vanity. Uh, we did a backlit bowl. Uh, faucet comes out of the wall. We've got the quartz backsplash that's going up alongside the mirror and then the mirror's backlit. We have a lot of customers that send us pictures from Pinterest. Okay. Uh, we typically are able to do it better than what Pinterest shows. Yeah. Um, and yeah, this is, I think, one of those uh, situations. And then this would be the, the guest bathroom for everybody else that was in the trailer uh, when they were using it. Um, still pretty cool. You can wave your hand in front of the mirror there and it uh, turns on the light. Oh, we need to get that at home. Very nice. And then here, they did a 3D wall um, just for an accent going back into the uh, bedroom area. The gold metallic paint, really cool. Any residential appliances that you want. This one, since it's such a special use case for uh, movie sets, they just needed a refrigerator, most of their food's catered, and then a microwave to warm stuff up. Um, so that allowed us to really focus on a cool kitchen. So here in the slide, this is uh, one slide here. You got a quartz countertop continuation of a quartz backsplash, a peninsula that comes out. This is actually a bar. Uh, have a couple of bar stools over here uh, when it gets uh, finally set up. And then we did the waterfall on the quartz here, which is the first time we've done that. And it turned out amazing. Yeah, talk about counter space. I mean, yeah. Now, obviously you said everything's catered so they don't need the stove and, and everything else, but that's all customizable. Mm -hmm. Part of it is the cabinet drawing, so you can pick heights, widths, um, anything that you want. A lot of customers in pantries, they will do um, like pull out drawers and they'll put their Keurig in there. So yeah. you can put power in there and that way you don't have to have stuff out on the counter. It gives you the ability to do different counter strategies. 
So dining table, different uh, dinettes, basically. For the most part, we can do just about any light. That's where physics comes into play sometimes. If it's too heavy or we don't think it's gonna work well going down the road. Nice big table here. Ultimately, it will pull out and there's some more chairs that will go around it, uh, but that turned out really well. We didn't have time to get them installed, but uh, the reason you can see the blinds kind of down below the valance is there's also a Roman shade that goes with this and it will be the, the night shade that goes over the top of it. These are just the day shades. Cali bamboo floor. Uh, it's our standard floor. A lot of people in our semis will do um, a tile floor. We'll do it the entire length of the trailer, and then um, they'll also do a heated tile floor, okay. uh, which works out really cool for people to be able to have that on the road. Uh, this is going to be set up with two opposing sofas, a recliner, a coffee table, and then a crazy entertainment center. It's pretty fun. We've been having some fun testing it out here. Um, two big subwoofers and some fun stuff. And again, you can see some fun decorative lighting in here. RGB on another uh, 3D wall and then uh, accent lighting just about everywhere in the yeah. trailer. I kind of like that there's no furniture in here because you can see how big it really mm -hmm. is. It, it's, it's quite large. Yeah, these slides almost touch when they come in. You've almost got 16 foot total yeah. width um, it's, it's enormous. at this point in the trailer. And what's the height here? I mean, this is going to be um, this person This one is going to be just a little under eight foot. Yeah. This, my this, my, this my hands can usually reach eight feet. Wow, this is really an amazing trailer inside it this is an apartment on wheels so like that that is what it is if somebody's interested in getting one number one what is the time frame they're looking at what's the process so typically we're about a year out that's generally speaking what we've almost always mm -hmm. been i've owned the company now for four years okay and uh, it's been almost a year out in that entire time the good thing with that is there's a design process right so that's going to take four to six months depending on uh, the details and everything that we need to iron out so that's that's actually good mm -hmm. um, and then the production process as we mentioned earlier is uh, 12 to 16 weeks uh, depending on the complexity of the trailer cost since it's full custom that's a hard question best way we've found to really convey that to people is for our fifth wheels a good average price per foot linear foot mm -hmm. is six thousand dollars okay uh, so if you have a 40 foot trailer it's gonna be about two hundred and forty thousand okay on the semis it's uh, about seventy five hundred dollars a foot so there's upgrade in standard equipment and people typically the reason that's skewed up a little bit is people are typically doing more like I said the tile floors mm -hmm. uh, and they're doing more options and upgrades in the semis because they can. So 240,000, I mean, you, we see some higher end production fifth wheels that are, you know, in the 150, 160,000 range, but this is lasting 20 to 30 years yes. and it's completely custom. So definitely competitive in, in, in our opinion, certainly. In the comments below, let us know, have you ever heard of spacecraft? Is this the first time that you've seen one? Let us know what you think about it. Put it in the comments below. We thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for taking the time. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road. Have a great show. Thank you.